We have a very excited video for today. It is a stock that you should definitely consider. Even if you're not planning on investing right now, it is a game changer. If you get in on this stock, I'm telling you, um, listen, not very often we get opportunities like this. So stay tuned, watch the video. Let me know if you guys are planning to buy this stock if you guys are staying away or if you guys are thinking this is a waste of time regardless of what you think let me know your honest opinion and i promise you guys that this will be maybe one of the biggest decision you have ever made Yes, indeed, guys, on my screen, you can see exactly what is going on. We are discussing Netflix. Now, if you're wondering why is it trading at $226 compared to what we see three days ago or five days ago, let's just have a look. Netflix was trading at $348 just two days ago and right now it closed off the market at 226 dollar and this is this is no joke this is absolutely for real now if you guys are wondering hmm why did netflix um for some reason is trading lower than what you actually expect then listen a lot of people are asking the exact same question why is netflix is down today but this is why i'm here guys this is why i'm here to share um, information to make sure everyone is seeing um, exactly what I'm seeing. If you are a part of making the right investment at the right time, if you like to buy low and sell high, then this is a great opportunity. Now, there is a lot of fear, uh, and don't get me wrong, you should be cautious. It, it, it's money you're investing. But I'm not here to sell you on investing in any stock. I'm here to tell you about Netflix. Now, I've invested in Netflix a long time ago. Um, Netflix, Apple, around the same time, I believe that was back in 2016, 2017. These companies have made me three, four times of what I've invested in. And this is why I said, guys, take profit. It is very important, very, very important to make sure that we're taking profit. One of the biggest mistakes an investor can make is when there is profit on the table, they completely... Um, just leave it sitting too long, right? It's like stale meal. You can't leave it too long. Take profit, wait for a pullback, then you could reinvest in this company. Now, a lot of you may think, no, it's going down. I'm sure guys like Warren Buffett and those guys are not selling their shares. They're still holding on, right? Because this is how the stock market is. Any kind of news will pull these stock down. Now, I will talk about a few things that made a huge difference um, and why the stock is trading low. Um, number one is customers, not enough subscribers. That's the main thing. If you have a product and if people are not subscribing or if people are not returning, the, one of the main issue with business to be successful is that you need return customers. It, it's same as streaming and YouTube, for example. On my channel, I take a look at the analytics and it shows that most of my videos are getting watched by new viewers and it's showing it's not showing that i'm getting return subscribers it's the same thing as in business if you're losing subscribers then definitely it will make a big difference now keep in mind netflix had a huge um a huge issue when uh we have apple tv is is cheaper than netflix not as good as netflix yet but definitely the price compared to what netflix um, is charging. I think Apple TV is definitely um, cheaper than Netflix. Now, I'm going to break down one of the main thing that I think is causing a big difference. Now, number one is Disney Plus. Disney Plus make a huge um, difference because one, uh, the standalone is $7.99 and then the Disney Plus, ESPN, Hulu bundle, all that stuff is for $13.99. Now, Netflix and their standard one user HD is 15 uh, sorry my bad 
the one user HD is fifteen dollars and forty nine cents. The basic, I believe, is nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and the premium, which is three users, is nineteen ninety nine. So even though they break it up in three different price category, it is still more expensive than Disney. Now, do Netflix have better content than Disney? Hmm. In my opinion, it depends on who you ask. Now, me personally. I think Netflix content is still better than Apple and Disney and Prime, right? That's just my opinion. Even though if you're looking to see those kids movie or superhero movies, it could be Marvel, it could be whatever, then it's still, even, even without those, uh, Netflix is still more content. When you think about um, the thing, what they're doing now, it, uh, you can watch different comedians from different countries. You can see... Uh, Bollywood movies, you can see Hollywood movies, you can see um, those, I don't know, small movie companies. Like, there's a ton of content on Netflix, but at the end of the day, people have more choices right now. You have uh, Prime Video, you have Disney Plus, you have Apple Plus, you have Hulu, you have HBO Max, you have um, Discovery Plus, Paramount. Actually, their new movies are on their platform as well. You have Peacock. There's so many different options. Now, Number two is that Netflix has seen a backlash of pulling out of Russia uh, since the war in, obviously, um, uh, Ukraine. That shows that a lot of subscribers, they lose a ton of sub um, subscribers to that move as well, which on an ethical um, level, it is okay um, to me at least, but at least right now in terms of price, that's affecting what is going on now keep in mind as well it is not really in 2020 when everyone was stuck at home in the pandemic it's also a time when people are actually moving around more outside um, the weather is changing as well a, a ton of different things that could um, justify why um, they're not holding subscribers as what they're doing a year or two ago now this day is the worst day for netflix since 2004 so you can tell it is a big thing um right now with what's going on um but on an investment side guys listen if you tell me that i could get netflix um three months ago for 200 and what 26 dollars, i would think you're joking but this is absolutely not a joke the stock is down at that price right now um highly encourage anyone that's trying to Get some shares um, now is a great opportunity me personally because I have invested in Netflix for a very long time I've made a ton of profit and I've been waiting uh, for the price to come to what it is right now for a very very long time and this is why I said guys when you're investing in the market it's good to um, have some money on the side so you can um, wait and plan for a price such as this to enter into Netflix now, in the pre-market, in the aftermarket, I should say, my bad, in the aftermarket, as soon as market closed earlier, um, it was dropping in the low 225.62. So I got in at 225.85. I'm hoping that it starts to recover. I'm still um, keeping an eye on what's going on right now, but it's still trading in the in the aftermarket at 226. Um, 98 right now so not a big difference but still a big move in what it was if you compare in that um and that two days ago it was trading above 349 dollars per share and we're looking at a 35 percent um in terms of drop in the stock price there is um a lot of different things going on here there's a ton of news that you could go through um listen the market is not the best today but this is one of the better stock to invest in long term you can take a look depends on the platform you're using you can take a look do some research um, online you can do some with the platform it says netflix weighs down nasdaq p but those industry stream upstream so basically this is just a lot of generic news that's going on but in terms of netflix you can see guys um this is a major major move one year high seven hundred dollars and now we're looking at a one-year low of 226 dollars so that's a big shift 
in terms of Netflix. Let's see um, what the company um, uh, will do in terms of how they will turn this around. Now, as I said before, if you have been waiting um, for a long time to own a piece of this company, this is a great opportunity. If we look back on the beginning of the year, um, January we saw a similar move. Um, we saw it close off December above $600 per share at one point at 684 in November. But in January, we saw it was down at 356. Then we have a, a small recovery by the beginning of February when it crosses over $458 per share. And then since that time, we haven't really seen much um, changes we have seen in February, then it dips a little bit back in the earlier part of March with the market. Then we have a recovery above 390, and then now we're seeing it down at $226. Now, even if we look in the 2020 in the pandemic, it was still relatively still good if we're comparing uh, where it was trading. Um, so, hey, to me, it is a great pickup. It's really up to you guys. We take a look back here. In 2019, September, just before the pandemic um, starts out in Asia, we saw it was trading at 264, and then we just see a continuous growth. Um, this, this is why it's important, guys. You got to take profit. And even if you didn't sell at 600 or at 650, you have to start using your common sense when you're trading that says, hey, okay, we break 600, we break 700, okay. I'm waiting in, but if you start seeing it gets to uh, 680, 650, 580, maybe it's a sign that you need to sell and wait for a regroup, and then you're able to go in um, and make a better long-term trade. Now, exactly what I'm doing, guys, I'm waiting for um, this thing to be the next six months, a year down the road. So this is not a rush trade. It's just a great opportunity at this time. We're able to go in and make this trade. And I'm super happy, super excited that we're able to complete this. And um, definitely I'm going to take this win. You know, as usual, I say, if you're not um, yet subscribed, if you have watched until this um, stage in the video, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button below. Make sure that you're clicking that notification bell because we want to make sure that you get notified when there are videos like this just in case if you missed out on the market um, not all of us could watch every single stocks I'm a guy to trade on the market daily so if something comes up I'll make sure that I bring it to you guys now as usual thank you for the support as usual please guys do your own research as well before you go and trade um, as you know investment can be very risky um, speak to a financial advisor if you're not comfortable making any sort of trade but until next time guys peace out